I'm still waiting for requests from any of you, um, audience, and uh, I look forward to hearing from you. So, basically, we have got John's playlist on, on YouTube as a playlist, yep. which is more or less his phone, but it's a, sub, a subsample of his phone. And that is uh, more or less recent. Well, it's this century, isn't it? Yes. Nearly all is this century. Yes. There's a couple of Chicago tracks there that you did for your parents, but have stayed on your phone. Well, yeah, because once I... Um, well, I'll tell you the truth. I mean, um, when I first set up iTunes and the Apple ID and so on, and this is interesting, um, I iTunes has this awful default mind of... Um, Syncing all your music, syncing all this, syncing all the photos, syncing all the contacts, syncing all the notes, syncing this and syncing that and doing this. Um, anyway, being as, as intelligent as Apple think they are, they decide to set it up in such a way that everyone gets synced. And to change this over, you actually have to do it yourself. Um, Apple believe that they're helping their customers by syncing everything to iTunes, although iTunes um, syncing is getting slightly old-fashioned now. It's not for everybody. More and more people use iCloud to back up their devices, but I don't trust iCloud and I don't trust many cloud services. I'm slightly old-fashioned and, and I don't believe in... I still believe in plugging your iPhone into your actual machine and syncing it the old-fashioned way. If basically, I don't understand why they go to cloud services because why would you, you know, um, it's much more straightforward just to plug, plug a cable in. Um, and um, the reason why I know this is because you're probably wondering, well, um, he's saying all this about wonderful Apple iCloud, but I, but I, but I'm perfectly able to say this because I, in 2013, I got a new phone. It was the iPhone 4S at the time. Anyway, the day before, the the day I got the the the, the we go into the O2, we go into the O2 shop. I end up having an argument with one of the one of the O2 salesmen. I complained because I did not like the way that iCloud um, put your f put your phones back together. They make you lose your text messages, they make you lose... Uh, well, they make you lose your text messages in particular. And it's just inconvenient. I mean, why, why would I want iCloud to delete my text messages? You know, if 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 iCloud are going to make the claim that they... that, that Oh, you can restore backups di directly from our wonderful cloud server, wherever that may be. But, in fact, they're kind of misleading because you can restore messages um, uh, within your backups if you use, if you still go by the, the old-fashioned way of plugging a cable in uh, and um, doing John, it this John, way. I think I'm going to have to hurry you um, at this point. But I really, no, I really have to say it. I just find it, I just find it odd. I mean, and then they've got the audacity to, to, to post on the internet about how they're charging for Apple Radio and about how they got the audacity no, to charge no. people for more cloud storage on their wonderful cloud. Why would I want to use iCloud? Well, OK, hang on a minute. There's, so, there's a, several, several topics you've raised there. I'll just sort of make sure... The main thing I'm interested in is these Chicago tracks that your parents like. Yes. And what you're basically saying is they stay on your phone just in case they would get lost. Mm. You have confidence in hard, hard, hard drive backup. Yeah, the, I mean, the reason why they do stay on my phone is because, one, I can't be bothered to take them off. Right. Two, I can't be... How you bother to take them off is the better terminology. Yes. Um, so they might as well just stay on the phone and if I ever need them to play music on this station, I've got them. Right. I mean, Which is good it's thing. not my kind of music, but um, oh. my, my kind of music is more like... Um, uh, well, disturbed and heavy rock music. And well, yeah, which is good. Well, we have that. We have that on the show as well. obviously. Yes. But I, mean, I think it's a good thing to have a few Chicago tracks. I'm sure you do. Back, but anyway, but that's how the show. Um, stay with us, ladies and gentlemen, because the show will be a heady, a heady mix of this century and the last century. Indeed, it will. And not in many other centuries because it wasn't recorded that right. long ago. Okay. So that's roughly the scope of the, of the show.
But going back to so so you're not really an, what you're trying to say is you're not an apple nutter. No, I'm not an apple you nutter. Don't, you don't stand in a queue outside the apple shop waiting for anything they come up with. No, no. Um, I couldn't think of a more boring activity to do. Um, no, I don't stand outside the apple shop and wait until they release a new products. No, I believe that there's perfectly good. Uh, reason more reasonable price products out on the market like the Nexus 7 and mm. the Android phones and my iPhone it's really boring it's really shut down oh, and that, um, oh. I no I'm oh. turning into Piers oh. Morgan I want to <laughs> I want if people don't like what I say they don't have to listen no. but but this is this is called freedom of speech. It's a half past eleven show. It's a ha- what time is it now? Twenty five past. It's twenty five past eleven now on a Tuesday morning on 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 this. What date is it? The seventh of January. Sure, something like that. February. Um, February. Um, so you know, I mean, it's like uh, Mr. Morgan says on Good Morning Britain, which I quite I quite um, respect Mr. Morgan for what he says. Um, you know, if you've got to be able to balance the argument, I don't believe that 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 iCloud iCloud is offering anything different than, say, Google Drive. They're, they're, they're both good, they're both good, but you get one company, like Apple, recharging different ridiculous prices for more, like, storage, and it, it's just not on. I would recommend that Apple seriously consider uh, low, lowering their prices for their, their loyal customers, especially people really as rich as Apple are. They should have they should have a scheme. Whereas if you buy two Apple products within a year, you get you get half price or a free Apple product. Oh, I don't know about that. Um, because well, anyway, John, John, you mentioned Apple Radio. Yeah, I still don't like it. No. Well, what what is it? Because um, they seem. When you look at the the, comment, the commentators about Apple, they seem to be saying that, that the the sales of the phones, especially in China and other other markets where there's more competition, perhaps. Yeah. Um, they're not they're not sort of booming away in the way they used to. Exactly because so because so, so, they, so they're hoping to make some more money out of out of content. Yeah, but so things like the radio. I could probably I could probably tell you why they're not booming in market like they were. It's because Apple haven't really done anything new to the iPhone specifically. That's all they've done is release newer versions to fix certain bug fixes, and 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 the only the only decent thing they ever did with their with their iPhone is actually build Siri into into their 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 product. But they haven't really done, you know. I mean, take this for example. I mean, if I could be bothered to jailbreak my iPhone, I'm not really recommending. It to anybody because it's illegal Mm. but if I could be bothered to take the time and effort to actually jailbreak my iPhone I could get all kinds of apps on my iPhone from Cydia it's a store called Cydia you can you can google it if you know how to spell it because I don't Um, but it's a store called Cydia anyway and um, basically the, the kind of apps that I want to get hold of are available on Android anyway for free but the kind of apps I want to get hold of, wouldn't it be great if, if you could if you were in a meeting and you and you needed to text your um I'm gonna say sister for example, you can you can actually send it to, you can actually write out the text um set uh, just say it's twelve o'clock in the afternoon and you know your sister's on your ha- on the lunch break until one o'clock. You could actually send them you could actually tell the Software to send a text at specifically one o'clock. So, be, ah, um, but obviously, because Apple are locked down, you you can only purposely da- you can only physically download from the Apple from the App Store from the Apple App Store. Whereas if I could be bothered to jailbreak my iPhone, I would be able to download from the App co- App yeah. Store called Cydia as well. Um, yeah, but, but we're not we're not we're not recommending that, are we? No, I'm not recommending it. But, but I, I do have but, to but say, so, so, I do have to say, you need to understand slightly more about open source software. Okay, tell, I me, don't about, know what, tell me about open source software. Well, it, well, open source software, open source software is, if I'm not if I'm not um, wrong, I believe it is software that you can software that you can download, and if you're um, if you're quite a good programmer. You can you can modify the software on your own with yep. certain bits yep. of code, but as I'm not a good programmer, I I'm talking about open source software, but I don't I wouldn't really know how to um, program myself. 
But I do know that open source software will allow will allow programmers to add their own bits into the program, and that's what's so great about open source software is that it doesn't. It's normally free. It's a bit like it's a bit like Linux. That's free. The yeah, um, yeah. the the uh, system. Yeah. You can load it on a live disk, but it's free. But that makes it open source. So basically, I don't agree with all this um, hard, hard, um, you know, hard uh, lockdown system. I believe that Apple should investigate more open software. Yeah, but I, I think that's very unlikely, John. Yes, it is very unlikely. Well, let me say, it can, is... can I say a little, little, little bit more? Because yeah, sure. You, you, we spoke um, a few weeks ago about voice as an interface. Yep. Which, uh, for accessibility reasons, yep. is has been available uh, for five, ten years or so. Yeah, Can you but explain I have how to, that's improved? But I have to say that Dragon actually speaking and other voice recognition products, because there are other ones available, even though they largely um, assimilate or have similarities. But what I have to say about voice recognition software is um, that people often get it misconstrued as an accessibility program and actually it's not is it hasn't it doesn't have the foggiest um sense of of an accessibility program at all it's more of a it's more of a, it's more of a speed sufficient um sufficiency tool yeah. Um, well, just to, just to just to interrupt, that that's really how they how they presented it. Yes. I, I bet I I did I did uh, talk to the nuance. People. Oh, did you? I did. Right. And they were very aware of the competition that's around them, but they emphasised that aspect of it. They were saying that um, most most people can only write at a certain speed. I forget what the speeds are. Yeah. But they can talk a lot faster. Yeah, you can. So so if anybody's writing a book or is trying to generate a long text. Yeah. They'd be better off uh, spending the time to train the, the nuance stuff the, to recognise the their voice, yeah. I'm and then they could write long documents. I'm actually so that's that's how they present. I'm it. actually very surprised with somebody in your position that you don't actually go out and get a copy of Nuance Dragon. Actually speaking, well, perhaps I perhaps I should. Mm. I mean, if I if I end, end up writing long documents, it again, might be perhaps it, I will. it might be useful for you to try because, it, like I say, it's not. Yeah. It was never ever really designed for people with special needs. It was originally a dyslexic tool. Well, dyslexic? When you you mean a, uh, you mean just a text generating tool? No, it was uh, it was software wheel. Yeah. Designed for dyslexic people. Okay. That was that was the meaning of it, and then they went on and tried it in the West of England for about where I used to reside. When you say the West of England, I mean the, you mean somewhere. You mean the school? The school, where I used to reside. Um, but basically, they tried Dragon, naturally speaking, for yonk, for donkey's years, and they could never really understand why their pupils were not getting 100% satisfaction out of it. Well, I, I could tell them the reason why with, without even opening my eyes. So actually. what was that? The reason was is because that a lot of the kids didn't have the cognitive ability to write letters anyway. So if they... They've got the cognitive ability to talk, but if they haven't got the cognitive ability to actually physically type a letter, and they're not cogn- they're not cognitively there with um, in their writing characteristics. They're not going to be able to write a letter with a keyboard or voice recognition because there's nothing there's nothing special that Nuance Dragon Actually Speaking does. It's specifically a speed efficiency tool. It would be perfect for you. Because you're using it to speed yourself up, so it would be perfect. That's what it's supposed to be used for. It's not really supposed to be used for people in people in the disabled circle. It's not. It's not a disabled um, tool. Do you, do you know what I mean? Right. Okay. Yeah. No. It wasn't. It wasn't. Inter- it wasn't. Des- it's not for that. designed for that. No. Okay. So, do you th- do you think these these newer voice tools uh, would help with cognition? So things like, like let's say Siri, for example, as we start with Apple, let's say Siri says, well, I think you're trying to write a letter. Tell me who the letter is to and what are you trying to say? And you see, if Siri starts asking questions, would that, would that help? And technically, you can already do that with your iPhone 6, 6S and 4S and some sort of that. 
technically you can already ask it questions, but it's not sophisticated enough at this time to be to be saying, how would you like me to write a letter? How would you like me to do this? It's not sophisticated enough for that yet. But what's to say it won't be in a few... What's, what's to say it won't be in, a, in, a, in years to come? I mean, um, the nuance manager of Naturally Speaking in the USA, um, they hang, they go on Facebook much more than um, nuance in the UK, which is, they're actually based in Southampton. But anyway, I was, I, to cut a long story short, I was on their Facebook page a while back, and I know that um, Peter Pahoney, which is um, which is the uh, um, manager of Newmont, and particularly that piece of software. Anyway, he said that most, that is 99, 99.9% accurate. But he also said that even though you can control your, your, your entire machine with your voice, a lot of people will still use their keyboard and mouse as well. Yeah, yeah. Because it's not, it's, it's very accurate, but it's not all, the, it's not completely accurate. I don't think it ever but will be. No, no. People who use keyboard cut shortcuts. And yeah, stuff, people they'll, do. They'll, so they'll do all of that. So um, anyway, just just for the, I just wanted to make it clear. I mean, Dragon actually speaking is no way, no way a special needs um, alternative no. alternative to people but, to people not being able to type. I don't believe. No, but it is it is interesting because it's an option that that you can pay for. No, it would and you, be helpful. You can control to some extent. You can, yeah, yeah. Be- I mean, because John, can I just 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 say this? Cause it goes back to what you were saying about open source. Yeah. It seems to me at the moment there's at least four major major systems which have a voice interface. Yep. But they're controlled by uh, Google, mm. Microsoft, Apple, and Amazon. Yeah. So there's four four global companies with their own cloud set up, their own desktop set up or phone or whatever, and this is whatever what, it is. This is what I'm trying to say about um, when you go on about iCloud. Yeah. Is that, you know, why why are Apple users so hell-bent on thinking that iCloud is the only thing available to them? When, when you go on Google Drive and you set up Google Drive and everything like that, and Google Drive will do the exact same thing as iCloud anyway. You know the only thing, the only thing I'm, uh, that I'm aware of with iCloud that is different that that they charge you um, when you get over a certain amount of space and then they want you to buy so many gigs more of their of you know they want they they basically ask you for more money so yeah 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 but, you know it's just not well, well, right, right, it's John, just John, John, it's just John. downright insane no no no, no 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 John John yeah oh, gonna calm me down now well I am calm yeah you are. But okay. I'm just saying that why would I? Why, why would anybody, for that matter, when you when you when you've got perfectly when you've got something like Google Drive, when you've got something like well, what's but, what's but, the other one? When you've got Yahoo, you 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 can set things up on there. And yeah, yeah. Look, there's all these. But I think I'm, I'm just going to sort of try and summarise this a little bit because I think we should play some music. Okay. I think we we have a we have a fairly open format here, but I think we should move on to. We can come back to this. Okay. Okay, but um. At, at the moment, it just seems to me that, that, that these voice-activated interfaces, which are very intelligent, yep. they have uh, learning capabilities, anyway. even if we're not learning, Okay. and it's all linked to, to all, everything, anyway. and robots are the future. Do you want to play another track? Yeah, I will. Okay, here we go. <laughs> 